Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at creating books, prints, and cards using iPhoto 11. So iPhoto 11 gives you lots of options for ordering prints. For instance, you can select some photos here. You can go to Share and select Order Prints. You can also go to File, Order Prints. And then what will come up is a screen that allows you to select the size of the different photos and the quantity. So you can see for 12 cents I can get 4 by 6 so I can order two of these, one of these, and one of these. And I could it give you the total price here and click buy now. Of course with shipping costs you're going to want to order them in groups not just one at a time. Uh, and then it will use your Apple iTunes account to basically have you pay for them and then it will know your address and ship them to you. You can also create keepsakes. These are things like books. You can select a group of photos, say an event like this, and then you could select create and create a book from it. And this gives you the new browser that allows you to look through the different books. I'm going to use the arrow keys here to move through them. And I can select different sizes. So for hardcover I can select extra large or large. I can select soft cover and with that I can actually go medium or small as well. And I can even select wire bound and I can change the color. I can go through these and look at the different styles of them and there are a lot of different choices. And once I find one I like I can hit create and then it will create this project here. It used to be called Keepsakes in iMovie or iPhoto 9. And I can go through it and actually edit things. So I can select a specific page and I can move photos around and swap them. Uh, change zooming levels on them, uh, things like that. And I can go between the different pages. And then I could drop more photos in there pretty easily. Uh, and if I click on Design, I can actually add some effects to things, uh, like little page curls there, uh, effects for the, the photos themselves. Uh, I can even edit the photo. A key thing here is being able to click on the photos at the bottom right and then be able to see all the photos that you've selected and then drag and drop new ones into places. You can also create these letterpress cards. You can select a photo and then hit create and select card. And then like the books you can create a uh, object here that will be printed and sent to you but usually it's just with one or a small number of photos. So you can select one here and then you can create it. Once you've done that now you can edit it. Uh, so you could change text, fonts, all sorts of things. Go into design mode here. Have a lot more control over things. Uh, select photos and you can go look at all photos in the project or say everything in an album and drag and drop different photos into the section. Zoom in on them etc. So it's just another option there for something you can print. Now one of the things I like about creating things like books is you don't just have to order them as print. You can actually print them out yourself or save them as PDFs. So for instance I'm going to just select print while this book is open and I'm going to save it as a PDF and then I'll save it here to the desktop. It'll export it out and I'll have this nice PDF book that I can now just email to friends. And you can see I will open up this PDF file here and you can see there is my, my book with all the themes and everything in it. It looks really nice and it's saved as a, a file here on my desktop. Even if I'm going to order a print book I like to save it out as a PDF so that it's something I can give to friends or look at on my iPad or my laptop while traveling. Hope you like this look at printing photos, books, and cards from iPhoto 11. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more videos? Just go to the MacMost.com website, click on the videos link at the top, and then you could browse all of the Mac, iPhone, and iPad videos by category.